All right, as you just saw, RFA 43 went down in Broomfield, Colorado, and a new welterweight champion was crowned. The winner, new RFA <coughs> champ, Brian Camozzi. Hey, there he is, and look who's with him. His brother, Chris, joins us. Guys, thank you so much for the time. Brian, let's start with you. What an incredible performance. Just give us your take on this very quick fight. Uh, obviously, you know, extremely happy with the outcome. Um, I was prepared for five rounds and was thinking it was at least going to get kind of into deep water, but luckily finished it quick and made it an easy night. You won, you won your last fight, Brian. This is Boss Ruddy. You won your last five, five, uh, four fights. Now it's five all finishes, two knockouts, three submissions. Do you think now that the UFC will pay attention? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping to get that call. Uh, every time I hear somebody win the belt, they move up right away. So I'm hoping I'm the next in that line. All right, Chris. Well, little brother was very impressive in front of the hometown fans in Colorado. Give us your take on, on your brother's performance tonight and, and just how his fight game has evolved here the past few years. Man, it's been, uh, it's been fun to be a part of the journey. He... Uh, He's been killing it in the gym. That's his move, actually. He doesn't say it on the mic, but uh, <laughs> I was unfortunate enough to be on the other end of a few of those chokes. And uh, he's good at getting it, man. I, I choked on my gum in the locker room when he guillotined me that same way. Wow, <laughs> very nice. And, and, and Brian, what, what, is, what is the thing that you're going to do now which you couldn't do when you were preparing for this fight? Is it food? Is it burgers? Is it, is it crazy sports, motorcycle? What are you going to do now? <laughs> Lots and lots of terrible food, as bad as I can find. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Chris, what do you think, Chris? He's, he's ready for the UFC? Uh, I think so. I mean, you look at his last few performances. Dana saw him knock that guy out cold last fight. Uh, this fight, he wins the belt. RFA is a great organization. They've been sending champs up to the UFC. And, uh, you know, he's clean and clear off that fight. So I think either short notice or uh, let's get this kid a contract. That's right. There you go. Big Brother has spoken. Hey, Chris, uh, you're coming off a loss back in, Aug or in August, but before that, you were on fire, winning three straight. Give us an idea of what's next for you. Um, you know, I've had three fights this year, and I, I want to get a fourth one in. I know a lot of guys don't like to stay as active, but I'm planning on having a fourth fight this year. And uh, I'm seeing these cards announced that aren't full yet, so I've been on Joe Silva quite a bit. Uh, put me back in there. You know, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm training, so I'm ready to go. Well, we look forward to seeing you back in the Octagon, Chris. And uh, Brian, congratulations on a huge win. Maybe uh, they'll put you both on the next the UFC card. card. That will be knows? something. Two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle that. I get too nervous watching him fight. Yeah, yeah on the same card would be a little rough. Yeah, it's so but weird, right? It's so weird. <laughs> when you're shotgun, so to say, you're always more nervous than when you fight yourself. It's yeah. so weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. I get way more nervous <laughs> than my teammates and stuff, not having any control over it and just being able to watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, enjoy this victory. Thank you for the time tonight. Godspeed.